This is a very interesting mathematical trick that I don't quite understand why it works, but it just does. The math does everything for you. So but for this experiment, I need 12 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And Charlene, I'm going to separate these either um, one by one, two by two, or three by three. And it's up to you get to make a decision. Okay, so do you want me to do that? One by one, two by two, three by three. One by one. Okay, so we're going to look alternating these one by one. And I'm going to take out these. And do you want these to go on the bottom or on top? Top. Okay, top. Jen, two, one by two, one, two by two, three by three is what do you want? I'm going to do two by two. Okay, so we're going to break two. And we're doing these separating two by two. So it's like, you know what, do you want these on the bottom or top? Top. Put them on top. Okay, now let me separate these. Okay, we'll deal these so you can see that they're all different. Then do this. And Charlie, you have a choice here. Do you want these face down, these face up? What do you want to do? I want those face down. These face down, and we're going to put these together. You want these on top or these on the bottom? Bottom. All right. Take this, and now cut the deck in your hands. And you can do it a couple of times if you want, just so you get to a random card. All right, I love this song. Deal that one to the table. Jen, take these in your hand. I want you to deal the first card to the table, the next one underneath. The next one to the table, the next one underneath. And we're gonna do this until they're all done. To the bottom, table to the bottom, yeah. It's called the down under deal. It's a really weird <laughs> process, but this is what's gonna make it work. There you go, Jen, excellent. Down, bottom, down, and now you're left with one card. Now show us what that is. So it's the queen of spades. Mm -hmm. If this works right, <laughs> turn that over and see if they match. Wow. Oh, one queen with the other. Isn't that strange? A mathematical uh, mystery? I have no idea how it what? works. Harry Lorraine. Mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. It's me, Rudy Tinoco from the Magician's Forum. And I'm here to teach you an item out of Harry Lorraine's Best of Friends, Volume 1. I want to show you something kind of fun about my particular copy of this book because I took it with me to Harry's 90th birthday party, and I wanted to have it signed by all the magicians who I knew were gonna be in attendance. So I got all of these autographs from folks like Wesley James and Michael Vincent and David Regal and John Rockerbomber, and the list goes on. There were a lot of pretty popular magicians who were there in attendance, and so I love this copy. Anyway, what I'm gonna show you is an effect called 